Hey guys, gonna do another video on Tears of the Kingdom today. Um, so, I didn't know it yesterday when I was doing the testing, but I found out later in the day and I did some more testing uh, just in the evening last night. Um, so apparently SMT is not working properly on the mainline updates, uh, but apparently in SteamOS 3.5 it will be updated and fixed. So this video is going to focus on SteamOS 3.5 and running SMT on, off, and then a couple of other tests as well that we're going to get into. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to point out as well that there's the fanatical bundles and stuff going on. Um, <clears throat> there's a build your own play on the go bundle as well. So these are all Steam Deck verified games. You can pick two, three, or five games for various prices there. Um, there's some pretty decent games in here. Um, as well, I bought the Killer Bundle 26 the other day and I gave away uh, Dishonored in my video yesterday, so somebody got that, so congratulations to that winner. Um, I'll be giving away another uh, game today. Um, I was thinking of doing Rain World. Uh, Rain World looks interesting. I do admit that I'd want to keep it and play it myself, but I'll probably give that away. But today we're going to give away 300, or sorry, 3,000, 3,000, 1,000, oh my god. Three thousand <laughs> Um But anyway, sorry. Um, as you can see, it's a side-scrolling kind of Metroidvania-type game. Uh, I'll just turn the volume down a little bit more there. Just turn it all the way off. But yeah, so you can see it's a Metroidvania-type game. Um, so I'll give away the code. I'll do it the same as I did yesterday. Um, I'll just put codes throughout the video just on title cards on like embedded into the video so it's not all gonna be one shot so get your pen and paper ready uh be sure to drink your ovaltine and hopefully you get the code ovaltine a crummy commercial son of a bitch so just as a little recap to yesterday's video, um, essentially what I had done is I went through and tested various settings and kind of found like my best optimized settings for Yuzu 3594, I think it was. Um, <clears throat> it was a bit of a long one, 20 some hundred minutes you can see here, but there's some decent data in there. But if you don't want any of that, you can skip to the setting changes and my new recommended settings. But to round it all up, basically, here was my best run before I found these uh, Accelerate ASTC Texture Decoding and use Async Shader Building Off. And as you can see here, that boosted my FPS average and the minimums of everything. So that's kind of what I used as my new settings. And as you can see here, these are my new recommended settings. I won't list them all off. If you want, you can pause the video here. And now all the testing was done in 720p handheld for that video as well. So what this video is going to focus on now is the SteamOS 3.5 with SMT on and off, and then some various other tests as well that I did. So <clears throat> hopefully you guys will enjoy the video, and hopefully you guys enjoy the giveaway. Um, I just noticed, though, I pulled up on the YouTube app there shortly after filming the other intro to this that I just passed 100 subscribers, so thank you to everybody that subscribed. Um, so I'll give away another game actually, and I'll just do that in one straight shot code right here. So don't, no pen and paper, just take a picture, scan it, and into your Steam account it goes. Just let me know if you get it. Uh, congratulations to the winner. Okay, so getting into it, you can see here that I've updated to SteamOS 3.5, um, and this was my gameplay benchmark. So if you remember from yesterday, it was just after the initial intro dive, walking along the path, uh, taking the right, to that little green zone eye, whatever dude, looping around him and then coming back up to the top of the stairs. I'll put some background footage in the video to give you an idea. But so my best old run was 29.2 FPS average and 11.5, 1% low. Now with SMT on on my first run, um, with SteamOS 3.5, I got 27.9 and 7.2, so immediately it didn't look so great. So I did a second run with SMT on, and then that's kind of bringing us in line with our old numbers, if not a little bit better in the 0.1% lows. Um, but again, within margin of error, so immediately no differences to be gained here that I can see. Uh, going on, so I went back and did the intro dive as well. Um, so this is where I tested the one gigabyte UMA frame buffer size and four gigabyte UMA frame buffer size, um, and the, with SMT on and SMT off for respective versions. Um, and this was again, just the intro dive where it's the title cut sequence, um, 
you don't have any control up until the very end, but I just let it play through at its normal speed. Um, so it's just an easy repeatable thing that I can do in the game engine. And so here's the results for that. So SMT on uh, versus SMT off for one gigabyte, like it didn't really make too much of a difference. Again, margin of error. And then four gigabyte, again, the first run on uh, SMT on there, sorry, it it did worse. Like not, not in the averages, but in the 1% lows really, and the 0.1% lows. And then with SMT off, four gigabyte, it kind of performed a little bit better to or close to the one gigabyte so i believe this was just kind of a one-off and you'll kind of see when i go into more of the testing results that that's kind of what i'll chalk it up to so as you can see here um <clears throat> i going forward i used my new default settings with smt on because that does appear to be kind of the preferred way and most stable way to play it so with smt on i did uh handheld versus dock testing here so I did three runs each, uh, both with the intro dive again, just as an easy repeatable thing. Um, as you can see here, there was one instance where we had a 6.5, 1 uh, percent low in a docked mode run, and but beyond that, then the second run, third run, it was over 10, right? But then with handheld, same thing, 10, 13, and then a 7.5 on the third run. So this is like the shaders compiling and the, the little stutters here and there. What I can say from my personal experience though, is that with SteamOS 3.5 from what I was playing yesterday versus today, it did appear to be smoother. With the SMT on, there wasn't as many uh, hiccups or little hitches here and there. There wasn't as many lockups that I noticed. And I played like a good chunk of the tutorial island as well in this mode, not just here. Um, and it did kind of feel smoother to my my eyes and my hands essentially um so take that for what you will it doesn't really appear to be too much of a difference between handheld and docked um but given that we got our best run with handheld um 27.2 13.7 7.6 .7, i just chose to move going forward using handheld for my testing um but we did do a gameplay benchmark as well of handheld versus uh, docked as well so again, that was the first little gameplay loop of just running down the trail. Um, again, the results are very similar. I'm not gonna go through it all. If you wanna pause, you can take a look here. So I did three runs each, and then I did kind of notice like, oh, docked is running a little bit better, right? So I redid a handheld sanity check after my docked runs, and then it kind of brought us in line, if not better than our docked. So again, it, it all just depends on what's going on in the game and what's going on in that exact moment. Even though I have my sh shaders built and everything, my own personal shaders, I'm still getting hiccups and little hitches like that. But the FPS averages are still high, but you're still gonna get those moments of little lockups. But it's getting better and better every day. <laughs> and I can say that for certain. And of course, with Yuzu Early Access, there was two new updates, I believe. Um, I think there was a 9.5 and then at least, a, the very least, a 9.6. Um, so I downloaded that as well, or updated that, sorry. Um, and then re-ran some of the gameplay benchmark testing just versus my best 3.5.9.4 run. Um, so as you can see here, it like for one run like the one percent lows are better uh the 0.1 percent lows were significantly better um but then in the third run they were kind of in line with the three five nine four run um it did feel smooth though so again it doesn't seem to hurt to update and then we can see in here in a random 85 second gameplay slice that i took in the opening initial area gameplay was pretty darn smooth i'd say So, uh, I was going to roll my Steam Deck back to main channel update or stable update, sorry, and then redo all the testing from there, uh, just for the longer gameplay slice, but now my SD card isn't working, so now I'm going to try and figure all that out. But anyway, uh, as I was doing the editing again, uh, this got posted that Metro Last Lake Complete Edition is now free, 
uh, from May 18th until the 25th, I believe it is. Let me just double check that. I'm fairly certain. Um, yep, uh, May 25th, you have till to redeem this. So it's 100% free. Uh, no matter where you are, you add it to your account and you're good to go. Um, and you get to keep it forever. It's not a limited time trial. So I just thought I'd point that out. So if you didn't get a chance to win the free code, if you don't have this game, well, here's a free game for everyone. So I uh, just like to point that out here and there when there's some good deals and stuff. So I finally got it back working, the SD card's working. Uh, if you guys have a problem doing it, I had to update back and forth between 3.5 and stable uh, twice without the SD card in, and then it worked. So if you guys have an issue with that, try doing that, and then that might fix it. But anyway, this is what I kind of wanted to talk about with like smoothness and stuff. So I did two big gameplay loops with 3.5.9.4 or three five nine four and 3.5.9.6, both running SteamOS 3.5. And then I did a smaller gameplay loop as well. But mainly I just wanted to focus kind of on the frame time graph here. So <clears throat> with the 3.5 and the SMT changes, that is what is supposed to be helping is with these frame time spikes and the little stutters and stuff. So I can definitely say in my experience that running 3.5 does help. Um, whether it's worth the hassle, like I had a little bit of hassle with the SD card business and stuff. Um, but nothing too major, but I'm sure there's probably other major bugs or whatever. So use it at your own risk. But honestly, I think this is going to be the way to play it with SteamOS 3.5. Hopefully it's going to be coming out soon, but yeah, you never know with Valve. They said that back in March, it was going to be out soon. So we'll see. So finally, we'll just take a look at the actual numbers there of that last gameplay loop and the one that's playing in the background right now. Um, this is just straight up SteamOS 3.5, 3596, Yuzu Early Access versus 3594. Really nothing much to write home about. If anything, 3594 performed better technically, but it it's margin of error really. And it wasn't like I tried perfect benchmark one for one, but you know, like... It, it never happens one for one exactly. It was pretty darn close, but I digress. Um, so, in conclusion, can you play Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on the Steam Deck? Yes. With some caveats. Um, you're going to have to build your own shaders. It'll run smoother that way, in my experience. Um, if you can find somebody's shaders that are compatible with your game, go for it, give it a try. But you're still going to have moments of stutter and hitches here and there no matter what you do um so the best thing that you can do is running steam os 3.5 to get that smt bug fixed and then running smt on and then using these settings here that i used in my previous video as well nothing really changed this was just a benchmark to see the differences the main differences in my opinion is just the smoothness and that's what the smt bug is doing in the emulation whatever so it's causing more hitches and more stutters and things like that so you're going to get less of that and it's going to feel a lot smoother and in my ex my small limited experience that i did play with it of just tooling around with it it did definitely feel a lot smoother than steam os 3.4.6 or the current stable release at the time um but yeah so really not much else to say at this point about it um if you're playing it and having a good time with it, try my settings. Maybe you'll have an even better time with it. If it doesn't work out too well, let me know. Uh, and then we can see if there's something else going on, or maybe I can tweak some more settings or whatever. Um, I'll keep my ear to the ground on this one, though, like usual. And if there's anything worthwhile updating, I'll make another follow-up video at some point. But anyway, that'll do it for this one. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, and congratulations to the two winners uh, for the giveaway here. And there's the last code right now for uh, 3000th Duel. Um, anyway, uh, thanks a lot for subscribing if you did. Definitely not necessary. Don't even get to give me a thumbs up. Have a good one.